Hello everyone! It is the 11th. It is Monday. I think the only reason why I'm hyper is because I'm sleep deprived, but it's snowing out. I love the snow so much. <laughs> I love cold weather. Like everyone's like, I love summer. I'm like, I hate the summer. <laughs> like, look how pretty. Focus. Look how pretty it is. Isn't it pretty? I love it. So, <laughs> plans for the rest of the day. I obviously went to school this morning and I currently got home. And what is it now? I just ate, it's 3.30. So, I got a film, a video, which I can't say what it is because you guys won't see it till like another week. <laughs> and, then I have to study for a law test. So yeah, excitement. Let's film. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go film. And for reading, nothing has happened today. Which I mean, I'm kind, I don't feel like reading at the moment, so that's why. <laughs> but maybe later. <laughs> it is Wednesday I apologize for not updating yesterday I just didn't feel like it <laughs> essentially and I just never got around to it and then the lighting sucked and then you know no more excuses but so today reading update let it snow I'm about almost 200 am I over 200 pages I don't know I'm quite the way through it I'm near the end of the second story and the first story I love so much but John's story like John Green's story the second one I've noticed more problems with it than I just wasn't looking for before because if you don't know why I read this book more for nostalgic reasons than to review it really critically the lighting still sucks um so like I try to be very like I read this because it's enjoyable but now that I kind of have learned to be review things a bit differently or just a bit more critically. I've noticed some things in John Green's story that I'm not that happy with, but like it's not a bad read and it's nostalgic for me so that's why I read them. But yeah, I'm excited to read more of it and I forget if I like the last story or not. Like I read it every year and I know once I started I'll remember everything, but like I forget what the last story exactly is and if I liked it, I think I really loved the last one. So yeah, um, so for a little update other than that, I am officially almost fully caught up with school. I think I'm officially caught up in all my classes for my work. So that's exciting because I was off for a bit, if you guys know. And some little things came in the mail today. Very happy about it. For Black Friday, they had a Stephen King sale where everything was 50% off online for Indigo. So I bought so many and I forgot that I ordered these so they're just kind of coming and I'm like oh I forgot about you um I ordered thinner by Stephen King this one is one that I'm very re like really excited to read um upper class access he's got all an expensive home a loving family 50 extra pounds that is doctor okay so this is about someone who has it is portrayed as someone who has it all um and extra and 50 extra pounds that his doctor repeatedly warns will be the death of him. Then in the moment of carelessness, Halleck, Halleck commits vehicle manslaughter when he strikes a jaywalking old woman, but Halleck has some power, some powerful local connections and gets off with a slap of the wrist. Soon there will be nothing left of Billy Halleck unless he can somehow locate the source of his living nightmare and verse what's happened to him before he utterly wastes away. And the quote is, you can't do anything, it's gone too far. You understand Halleck too far. This sounds really cool. So I'm very excited for that. And then I also have Four Past Midnight. So this one, one past midnight, two past midnight, three past midnight, four past midnight. Okay, I feel like I've heard good things. So now I'm gonna show you guys my little King shelf, like the bottom of it, because I still have King on the other shelf too. Oh, this is awkward, cause like I can't show you. 
I'll take it off the tripod once I put them away. I've been collecting these editions. So these are the, what is it? Gallery Books editions. So I finally gotten, like I have Tommy Knockers, The Dark Half, Insomnia, Christine, Gerald's Game, The Long Walk, The Dead Zone, and then now I just got thinner. And then I got these ones, which these are this Scribner. Yes, sorry, I couldn't see that. So these are those editions. You can tell the font too. It's different on both. But I have different seasons, Four Past Midnight and Misery in these editions. So I'm hoping to collect all of these. These look so pretty. I'm so obsessed with them. And I love how I got them all for a really good price because they're usually, you know, full price. They're a lot. Adult full price paperbacks. So that's usually $25 Canadian. It's not gonna focus. $25 Canadian. So that's very cool. Along, oh, other way. <laughs> so along with that, I also just filmed a video. So, focus. I filmed a book tag today, which is really exciting. Um, so yeah, and I also got other things in the mail. So I got part of my Jeffree Star order, which if you guys don't know, I love him and his brand. I know he has some controversy around him, but I love him so much and I love his brand. And so, I got something from the holiday collection right when it launched, but I only got one thing and I totally forgot about it. Cause sometimes I order things and I forget. <laughs> and then I ordered a bunch of stuff on Black Friday. So I assumed what was here was the Black Friday stuff, but it was something I ordered randomly. So it was um, a li liquid lipstick. I'm wearing it right now. It's cute. It's Christmas cookie it's called. So it came with the little holiday thingy. And then it came with the little photo that the photo card they always come with and I'll show you the packaging because it is beautiful so this is it right here it'd be nice if it would focus but it's being difficult because of the hollow and stuff so that's what it looks like it's in the shade Christmas cookie I like it I think it's kind of cute and it's dried down already kind of natural kind of subtle hip <laughs> updating you guys on the tripod on a nice stand just because I was just filming. Um, I filmed three videos today which I'm super happy about because I've fallen not behind on videos because they're all planned. Most of them are scheduled but I have had like I kind of stalled like there was a few days where I couldn't film so that kind of just put me off track a little bit so I'm glad I got three videos down today. Uh, three outfit changes so that's why I'm a little bit hyper. The last video I'm kind of more hyper than the others so yes reading update i'm gonna end the vlog here though because it's saturday around 1 p.m i get the i like to get these up sunday morning which i know it's not a full week but i just say it is anyways um and i like to get them up sunday morning and you know they take a while to render and then watch over and things like that 
But, and I have a friend coming over later, so I'm super happy to see her. I haven't seen her in such a long time, so I'm super happy to hang out with a good friend. And so I'll probably be busy the rest of the day. But for a reading update, I did finish Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. So this collect this book is three holiday romances that all kind of intertwine in the end and I did really really like this is the fourth time I've read it I reread it every year um, just because it brings back Christmas vibes I've read it every year it just brings back a lot of nostalgia for me so that's why I continue to read it so much but the first story is by far my favorite I believe it's Maureen Johnson's story it's my favorite by far John Green's story I did notice some more problematic elements to it than I did in the past just some sexist comments, sexist remarks, things like that. It got on my nerves. Um, the romance in that one is still good though. The last story, the main character pissed me off, which I kind of said in my other reviews as well, so that hasn't changed, but I love how it ended. I love the Christmas vibes. Story number one was my favorite, so I ended up actually lowering my rating. My rating was always at a four, so I lowered it back to like a 3.75 or a 3.5 just for John's story. Uh, just for Green's story, that I don't think it was up to par and had some problematic elements in it, and just the last story that was kind of irritating as opposed like except for like the last 10 pages though because that's when it kind of intertwines a little so yeah um uh, I only finished one book this week which kind of sucks for me but it's okay um I've been busy but I should have read more but I kind of like part of me wishes I read it the whole thing in a day and then part of me is like happy that I took a while um I don't know but it was fun to read for story I love so much <laughs> It's not like the most realistic thing ever, but it's a lot of fun and I really liked it. So my current read is actually My New Crush Gave to Me by Sarah Petroff, I think. So I'm currently reading this. I'm only about like 40 pages in. So far it's really interesting. I think it's going to be that light fluffy read that I want it to be. Um, again, only 40 pages in. I just read it on my way to the dentist because I had to get um, my teeth... Um, not implants. Um, I had to get molds made for my teeth essentially for night guards and stuff. So on the way there I read a good chunk and then um, I was shopping a bit with my mom before we went to the dentist, got some more Christmas gifts. Christmas is going well. I basically am done. Like I technically finished Christmas shopping December 1st. But for some reason I'm like let's just get people extra things because why not? Which also means I am poor. But Christmas holly jolly don't know let's go with it i'll talk to you guys tomorrow i hope you enjoyed this vlog let me know your thoughts down below and how you did this week and thank you guys so so much for watching your support means so much to me especially on these vlogs i know you guys love them um just from the feedback surveys and things like that i know you guys love them so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye